um, good day. Um, today I'm going to do a very short review on the uh, inverter that we carry. Uh, in Solar Power Mark, uh, under SE Origins, uh, we carry two kinds of uh, inverter. Uh, one is the uh, pure sine wave inverter and the other one is the, uh, we call it the uh, modified sine wave or quasi uh, sine wave inverter. Okay? Um, we differentiate it by uh, the color. All right? For the uh, modified sine wave, you will, we will use a metallic blue, um, all in a me metallic blue color. Okay? As in the pure sine wave, uh, we will make it into a black color, okay? black, black casing. Okay, um, probably I will spend some time um, talking about uh, uh, our inverter. Okay, um, inverter has been around, um, especially the off-grid inverter uh, has been around more than a few decades and uh, has been around for, for quite some time. But of course, uh, those inverter, what well, I would say that uh, a, a very huge percentage is not used for uh, solar during uh, the, the old time. Uh, they just use it for a remote area whereby um, they do not have a power source. Uh, they use a battery, and the inverter just uh, connected to the battery, and uh, you know it, it can power a uh, 240 or 110 uh, V VAC devices. Uh, and that was uh, the old traditional kind of uh, inverter. Okay, for us in uh, solar power mark. Um, we need an inverter that is a very high efficient, okay? consume a very little power so that uh, we can save the energy. All right? And then the inverter must be able to work uh, together with a solar charge controller. If you take a traditional kind of uh, inverter and you plug into a solar system or a PV system with a charge controller, sometimes you will have uh, interference between the charge controller and the inverter okay sometimes uh, even the branded inverter from germany or from us uh, when they uh, 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 the, the controller detected uh, inverter in the system they will give you an error message and vice versa uh, the inverter sometimes may, may uh, detect the charge controller and uh, it will give you an error system in, in the inverter all right, because of that, uh, Solar Power Mark also redesigned the system, uh, make sure that the inverter would not interfere the solar charge controller and the solar charge controller will not uh, interfere with the inverter. All right? So, uh, for example, charge controller and the, the beta charge controller, they will work very well uh, with the theta inverter that we have uh, under the uh, Solar Power Mark category. Okay. I'm just want to spend a, a very short review on this. I'm um, just go to a few points about uh, why our inverter is uh, different from other. Besides the point just now I mentioned, all right. Now I'm going to talk about the efficiency. Okay. Um, you can actually read more about this uh, about our inverter in our solar power website. Okay. Uh, we will explain to you why it's different. What is the, for example, what is the. Uh, the uh, modified inverter uh, and the pure sine wave, okay? And you also can download the data sheet from our website, okay? Um, and you can go to go through the data sheet and user menu in detail, okay? But uh, I'm, I'm not gonna talk about uh, that at the moment, all right? I'm gonna talk about that, uh, the, 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 the inverter that, why it's different from, from the other, okay? Um, our inverter actually uh, is not using the old traditional kind of uh, transistor or transformer to step up the voltage from 12V to uh, 240 or 24V to 240VAC. Uh, uh, we don't use that because if you use that, that kind of technology of transformer, you will find out the efficiency uh, will not reach more than 80%. Alright, so you will have a 20% of uh, power loss. Uh, what we do is here, we use a very advanced, uh, more fat. Uh, transistor to set up the the, uh, the voltage okay so we have we are using a two stage okay uh, DC to DC the first stage is DC to VD DC and then second stage to uh, DC to uh, VNC right to 240 uh, 60 Hertz okay and uh, because we use an advanced uh, more 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 fat transistor uh, we can achieve efficiency more than 90%, all right? Certain of our uh, large-scale um, inverter, for example, the 
2,000 watt or 3,000 watt, they can even achieve an efficiency more than 95%. All right, so then you only have five to 10% power loss. Okay, this is one of it. All right, so especially designed for solar system. And second thing that I need to talk about is actually our ventilation fan. Okay, uh, you look at the inverter at the uh, at the back there. They always have a ventilation fan. Okay, some are not like this one. They have two uh, ventilation fans. Okay. Uh, you notice the traditional or some other uh, inverter when you just plug in the uh, power source like battery uh, the fan will just turn on okay um, you will find out actually to ventilate uh, the fan uh, actually costs quite a, a, a number of, of, of power consumption yeah so uh, at the end of the day the, uh, the invert also costs energy and of course not to mention your, your own usage of uh, energy and the fan need to keep this guy cool um, that consume uh, energy as well so if in, 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 in the end uh, you will find out a lot of traditional kind of inverter they will cost uh, you know not, not that efficient because uh, the, the fan or this um, you know just to keep the thing cool uh, the energy loss to the, to the fan for our inverter actually we designed the inverter the fan will not turn on, uh, the fan will only turn on when the temperature of the inverter is more than 60 C alright, 60 Celsius then the fan will only turn on and the fan will start cooling uh, when the temperature drop below 60 C the fan will turn off so by doing so we will save the, uh, the energy okay? so that your, your battery or your solar system will not be drained uh, too fast okay? And another thing is that uh, we pay a lot of attention on the cooling system of our inverter besides the active cooling system like fan, like ventilation fan we also uh, do a design uh, put in a lot of heat sink inside the inverter okay? by doing so uh, uh, we can have an active and passive uh, cooling system 